Hello dear students, welcome back. We are discussing chapter number 10, Kingdom Animalia. We have already discussed three phyla of animal kingdom. Today, we are going to discuss another phylum. Phylum Nematoda. Phylum Nematoda. Is phylum ke dusre names bhi hain. For example, this phylum is also known as Nemathalmanthes. And this phylum is also known as Ashelmanthes. Dear students, Nemathalmanthes ke maani hain thread worms. Kyunki inki body thread like hoti hai. Or Ashelmanthes ke maani hain Big worms because their body is big like तो ये जो नाम इनको दिए गए हैं ये इनके body shape के मुताबिक दिए गए हैं। Now characteristics of phylum Nematoda. According to our textbook of biology, since the textbook board जाम शोरो, there are twenty thousand species of phylum Nematoda. This phylum includes how many species? Twenty thousand species. Nemathelminthes has Greek origin. Nema means thread. Helminthes means worms. So they are commonly called thread worms. Kyunke in ki body thread like hoti hai. Look at the body shape of nematode. Dear students, uh, its body is thread like. That is why they are commonly called thread worms. Or in ki body ke dusre shapes bhi uh, pai jate hai. Body form, thread like, so they are called thread worms. Ascalmanthes means bag worms. Body is big like. Ascus means big, big like. So they are called bag worms. And their body is round in shape, round bodies. And due to the presence of round bodies, they are also called round worms. So these are all names in body shape ke bunyat pe diye gaye hain. Organization, they have organ system organization and they belongs to group U metazoa next symmetry dear students their symmetry is bilateral symmetry two sided symmetry two side having one right side and one left side germ layers these are triploblastic animals they are triploblastic animals means they have three primary germ layers ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm during their embryogenesis during the formation of embryo their embryo develops three layers the outer ectoderm the middle mesoderm and the inner endoderm now coelom is body cavity dear students they are pseudo coelomates and have a false body cavity known as pseudocele in ke paas jo coelom hai, isko coelocele likha gya hai, coelocele means false coelom. A false coelom is that coelom that is present between endoderm and mesoderm. Gut means digestive tube. These are the first animals to have complete gut with two openings, mouth and anus. A gut having two openings, one opening is the mouth and second opening anus that gut is known as complete gut also called complete digestive system dear students inka jo excretory system hai wo h shaped hai their excretory system is h shaped having two lateral canals and two transverse canals one median ventral duct and there is a excretory pore at the top and they excrete ammonia. The animals which excrete ammonia are called ammonotelic. Now look at the H-shaped excretory system of nematoda. This is the diagram showing H-shaped excretory system. Jaisa ke is me likha gya hai pehla part two lateral canals. These are the two lateral canals. This is one lateral canal. And this one, second lateral canal. So, ye do ho gaye lateral canals. Or yahan pe focus ki jiga ye do transverse canal hai. These are two transverse canal. This is transverse canal one, and this is transverse canal two. Or yahan pe aapko ek duct nazar aayega. 
मीडियन वेंट्रल डक्ट मीडियन वेंट्रल डक्ट और उसके टॉप पे आपको एक पोर नजर आएगा दिस पोर इज कॉल्ड एस्क्यूरेटरी पोर सो दिस इज एच शेप्ड एस्क्यूरेटरी सिस्टम ऑफ नेमेटोड एंड दे आर अमोनोटेलिक इन देयर एक्सक्रीशन क्यूटिकल देयर एपीडर्मिस सीक्रेट अ थिक क्यूटिकल फॉर प्रोटेक्शन एंड देयर क्यूटिकल is known as exoskeleton and their cuticle is made up of collagen protein plus lipids nervous system they have well developed nervous system and whose shape is ladder like so their nervous system is called ladder like nervous system reproduction they are unisexual dioecious dear students dioecious means having sexes separated इनमें मेल सेक्स अलग होता है और फीमेल सेक्स अलग सेक्सेस आर सेपरेटेड डायोशियस फर्टिलाइजेशन इज इंटरनल सेक्सुअल डायमार्फिजम नेमेटोड्स ऑलवेज शो सेक्सुअल डायमार्फिजम नाउ सी व्हाट इज सेक्सुअल डायमार्फिजम सेक्सुअल डायमार्फिजम इज द डिफरेंस इन अपियरेंस बिटवीन मेल्स एंड फीमेल्स ऑफ द सेम स्पीशीज सच एज डिफरेंस इन शेप डिफरेंस इन साइज एंड डिफरेंस इन स्ट्रक्चर डे स्टूडेंट सेक्शुअल डायमार्फिजम डिफरेंस है डिफरेंस इन द अपियरेंस ऑफ मेल एंड फीमेल ऑफ द सेम स्पीशीज आज हम नेमेटोडा में सेक्शुअल डायमार्फिजम पढ़ रहे हैं तो उसका एक एग्जाम्पल हमारे टेक्सट बुक में दिया गया दिया गया है उसको ही हम आज क्लियर करेंगे एस कैरिस एक पैरासाइटिक वार में उसके मेल और फीमेल की साइज और शेप में डिफरेंस होता है लेट सी द सेक्सुअल डायमार्फिजम इन एस्केरिस मार्फोलॉजी ऑफ एस्केरिस शोइंग सेक्सुअल डायमार्फिजम इन नेमेटोड्स व्हाट इज एस्केरिस इट इज एन इंटेस्टाइनल पैरासाइट ऑफ ह्यूमंस डियर स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द मेल ऑफ एस्केरिस वॉम मेल एस्केरिस वॉम and this one is female ascaris worm now we are discussing the sexual dimorphism in ascaris morphology aap dekhiye male ki size it is smaller in size aur agar aap female ko dekhe to uski size kuch badi hai larger in size to pehla sexual dimorphism ascaris ki morphology mein male is smaller in size and female is larger in size aur dusra difference aap is posterior end ko dekhen jahan jo ke tail end hai male ki that posterior end in male is more curvy isme ek zyada curve paya jata hai posterior end is more curvy in male aur isme curve chhota hai female mein so the posterior end of female is less curvy in female of ascaris so this is the sexual dimorphism in morphology of ascaris a nematode now development with or without larva kuch nematoda ki development mein larval stage hota hai aur kisi ki development mein larval stage nahi hota habitat place of living where they are found nematodes are found in marine sea water also found in fresh water also found in soil and parasitic forms are present in the bodies of their host they may be the parasites of plants they may be the parasites of animals and they may be the parasites of humans jaisa ke hum ne discuss kiya ke kuch nematodes parasites bhi hote hain to ek disease hamare textbook mein mention ki gayi hai nematode ki फिलीरिया वर्म वो काज करता है एलिफेंटियासिस एलिफेंटियासिस हाथी पाव जिसको कहते हैं देर इज अ मैसिव सॉइलिंग इन द लेग्स एलिफेंटियासिस लुक एट द लेग ऑफ दिस पर्सन इन्फेक्टेड पर्सन ये एक इन्फेक्शन है इसको क्या कहा जाता है एलिफेंटियासिस इज इन्फेक्शियस डिजीज काज बाय इन्फेक्शन With a nematode parasite, फिलेरिया वर्म भी इसको कहते हैं 
और इसको फिलीरियल वॉम भी कहते हैं हाथी पाँव क्योंकि इसकी जो रिजेम्बलेंस है वो एलिफेंट के फुट की तरह होती होती है लेग की तरह एलिफेंट एसिस इज सीवियर स्वेलिंग ऑफ द आर्म्स एंड लेग्स द लेग्स आर द मोस्ट कॉमनली अफेक्टेड एरिया तो अब देखें इसका जो काजिटिव एजेंट है एलिफेंट एसिस का उसका हम पैरासाइट का नेम पढ़ेंगे और उसका स्प्रेड पढ़ेंगे हाउ इट इज ट्रांसमिटेड इन टू ह्यूमन्स इसमें डी स्टूडेंट्स लिम्फ चैनल्स ब्लॉक होते हैं यहाँ पे फोकस कीजिएगा इस लेग में जो मैसिव स्वेलिंग आपको नजर आ रही है यहाँ पे इस इन्फेक्टेड पर्सन में लिम्फेटिक चैनल्स ब्लॉक हो गए हैं और लिम्फ अक्यूमुलेट हो गया है जिसकी वजह से काफ़ी आपको स्वेलिंग नजर आ रही है लेग पे दिस डिजीज इज आल्सो कार लिम्फेटिक फैलेरियासिस कॉमनली नोन एज एलिफेंटियासिस कॉमनली नोन एज एलिफेंटियासिस ना वाट इज द काजिटिव एजेंट ऑफ दिस डिजीज फिलियरासिस is caused by worms wo kereria bancrofti wo kereria genus bancrofti species and how this worm is transmitted into humans dear students ye mosquito ki bite se human body mein enter hota hai infection occurs when filarial parasites are transmitted to humans through bite of female mosquitoes different species are known to transmit this parasite into humans species of the genera of culex mosquito anopheles mosquito mansonia mosquito and aedes mosquito now what are the symptoms of this disease symptoms of elephantiasis inflammation of lymphatic vessels this condition is called lymphangitis lymphangitis inflammation of lymphatic vessels and excessive amounts of fluid may accumulate lymph jama ho jata hai this condition is called edema jiski wajah se swelling aa jati hai paon pe in the affected areas especially in the arms and legs so dear students today we have discussed phylum nematoda is phylum ki classification hamare textbook pe nahi di gayi to humne iski classification nahi padhi kyunki it it has not been mentioned in our textbook magar humne iske characteristics bhi pad liye aur isme ek disease elephantiasis wo bhi humne aaj cover li so that's all about uh, about the phylum nematoda thank you dear students wish you all of the best stay safe